Hello everyone, I'm behind Jason. I'm right now in the Shanghai China Plus. And I'm at the uh, Arbogast booth and meeting the Christoph. And can you introduce about yourself and the Arbogast? Yes, of course. My name is Christoph Schumacher and I'm the vice president uh, responsible for global marketing of Arbog. And Arbog is one of the leading, worldwide leading manufacturers for injection molding technology and uh, as well for additive manufacturing. Oh, thank you for explaining. And um, I have some question for the Mr. Christoph. Uh, we all know that uh, Arbogast just released a new type of machine yesterday. It's called the Golden Electric Evil. And I think it's quite competitive in the Asia market. So can you give me more detail, like uh, give me some advantage about it? Of course, it's very competitive. Therefore, we launched it at China Plus. And I would like to ask my colleague Michael to um, say something about the advantages of the, of the Golden Electric Evo. Okay, uh, can you explain more about it, Michael? Yeah, okay, so um, uh, this is Michael from uh, Arbok. I'm the uh, VP Marketing Asia. Uh, yes, uh, just yesterday we launched a new machine, uh, Golden Electric Evo, and uh, it's a electric machine. And uh, compared to the hydraulic machine, it's faster and uh, very uh, energy saving. Um, we can uh, save fifty percent of the uh, power. And also, uh, this new machine is uh, purely based on our local to local strategy. So that means our Asian customers they can buy it uh, in very short time. The standard lead time is only eight weeks. It's uh, much faster than our standard machine from Germany. And uh, the cost uh, performance ratio is really, really good. So that means, uh, you know, all the benefits to our customers in Asia. And may I add something, as Michael mentioned, this is one of the most important points of our new internationalization strategy, which means that we are taking much more care of all the world markets around the world. Okay. Thank you, you two, for the really long answering. I think it's really detailed. And I have a second question. It's like, in the globally, we are experiencing some depressed vibe in the economics. So I want to ask, like, uh, what's the challenge that European manufacturers are facing? Can you give me like more detail or your personal experience? Yes, of course. We are looking into a very hard economic situation around the world. There is no region, there is no industry which is not infected by that. And uh, we, from, from the point of European-based manufac European manufacturer, uh, we see that the world is more and more dividing into, let's say, three parts, hegemonic parts, which means the Americas, Asia, and uh, also Europe. So uh, the task for us as a uh, European-based manufacturer with a global uh, activity uh, portfolio, we have to look for the markets. And as Michael mentioned, this means local for local as well in sourcing, but as well in delivering and as well in supporting our customers. Okay, I think you are really trying to seek a solution for the depressing time right now. And thank you for your answering. I'm really concerned about the economic topic. My final question is, we all know like AI is a trending topic like in re recent years. So I want to ask like for Arbogast, do you have any project or any plans for like implant the AI into your techni technique? Yeah. To be honest, the AI uh, is uh, is in your in our technique right now. And of course, AI is one of the biggest let's call it buzzwords around the world. Yeah, yeah. Everyone is talking about AI and so on. <laughs> but to be honest, uh, in our machines, uh, we are collecting since decades of years important data. And you can be sure that we are doing uh, important things with that data in our control unit. But you can be sure as well that I won't uh, say everything in detail here because, you know, yes. AI is really a big important know-how point. Uh -huh. So our customers can trust on us that we are delivering in the Arbok solution world the solution for all their needs and for all their questions. Even in the mechanical or hydraulical or electronical or whatever way, as well as in the uh, AI uh, question. Let's yeah. take it like that. Thank you. Thank you for your answer. And I believe uh, AI is require a lot of data with Albuquerque's like decades experience. I believe your solution will be perfect for your customer. 
And I want to thank, thanks again for Michael and Christoph to take my interview. And can you say goodbye to thank our you audience? Bye-bye. So Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.